Hey everybody, it's me, Sheesh. And before we begin, I just want to give a quick thank you to everybody listening, watching, and supporting the podcast. It means the world to us, and we're so appreciative. I just want to let you guys know that you guys can always ask us questions, give us segment ideas, and keep up with the fun, all at ashishandfriends.com. We're on Twitter at ashishandpals, we're on Instagram at ashishandfriends, and hey, we're even on Facebook, facebook.com slash ashishandfriendspod. If you're watching this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel. All that following and liking and subscribing will help us grow and keep going, so we appreciate it so much. And once again, thank you, and I hope you enjoy the episode. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to another great episode of the Shish and Friends podcast. Today, we've got a brand new segment. It's called This or That. Uh, each of us will give uh, each other like two situations, and we have to discuss about it and choose which one we would go with. Today's theme is actually food, so all these will be food-related. As always, I'm your host, Ashish, and you can catch me on Instagram and on Twitter, at Ashish Airy. We've got Dev, at Superlaser. We've got Shahan, at Shahan Jiraja, And we've got my boy, Ryan, here. Uh, these are my longtime friends and co-hosts. So without further ado, let's get it started. Uh, Dev, you got the first one. So what's your situation? Yeah, so this one, I'm, I'm kind of cheating because I stole it from a movie. Uh, it's actually from a movie called uh, All the Boys I've Loved Before on Netflix. It's a great movie. You guys should watch it. Um, but the question is basically, uh, the, this is, would you drink only water for the rest of your life or you can drink whatever you want, but it always has a drop of piss in it. (laughs) All right. What are your, what are your thoughts on this? Clarification. Is it just like a little fleck of it or can you actually taste it? It's, it's, it's not enough to taste, but it's, but you know, it's there like, uh, and it, and to clarify, it is also your piss, if that matters. What? So you're saying I actually took my drink and then... No, no, no. It just magically comes in there, but it's yours. It's, you're not drinking someone yeah, else's. Somebody's There's... keeping a store of it somewhere yeah. else and then adding it yeah, to your yeah. drink. Like, is it you're from a, a fully a it... healthy person, or is it from someone... Well, I don't know, Ryan. Are you healthy? Well, Ryan, are you fully healthy? You're healthy. Is it actually oh, is from it your your urine food? that's going in? Yeah, it's yeah, yours. Yeah. It's yours. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. okay yeah, yeah, I do have to say, I do feel like... Uh, Again, like we talked about on, on one of our last episodes, health-wise, I feel like the healthiest pee that we could get would probably be from Ryan's from this from the show. So, I mean, I don't yeah. know. That might not be a bad like, Would you prefer it if it was Ryan's? <laughs> I, I, no, but... <laughs> I, and by the way, on the, on the topic of the movie, somehow I've only seen the sequel to this movie. I have not seen the original somehow. Not exactly sure how that happened, but... Uh, but I do know the sequel was very good. The sequel was good. I think the original is slightly better, but they're both really good, yeah. honestly. <laughs> so, um, okay, I, I let's go ahead and get started here. So, for me, right, like, I don't know. I just don't want to be paranoid every time I drink. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, what is... What is the thing that I'm, like, really, truly losing if I'm, like, all right, I'm just going to drink water from here on out, right? Like, I don't really like alcohol that much, right? Like, it's good, but it's not something that I need in my life. And I, I don't know, man. I, I'm totally fine just drinking water, I think. <laughs> you give up Chick-fil-A lemonade, though. It's I, I don't care. I, I don't usually <laughs> drink when I go there. Oh, man. You're my number one. Wow. What do, you, what do you think, Ryan? Where are you headed? Ryan, Ryan is probably the person who's most likely to choose water, right? He seems like a healthy... He, he's already kind of, on that path. You couldn't... Actually. Wait, like, for like, do you think you could have cereal? Like, you'd have to eat all your cereal dry, no? Right. So that's the that question. So for me, I only drink water and milk. So I'm really just cutting out milk when I make this decision. <laughs> and matter of fact, Kashi tastes better dry. So I'll be <laughs> drinking only water and eating Kashi dry. <laughs> do you think... Do you think like if you could, if you could just not have milk like I would have to ask someone who's who's lactose intolerant but of course they would have like almond milk and other alternatives but like would at some point you just start eating cereal with water like would that ever occur to you or Well no? okay you so so try? I'm I'm not like fully lactose intolerant but I think I'm getting more sensitive because yeah. that's how life is and it sucks but um no, I mean, you could just eat it dry. That's way better than having it with water. Like, no, that's what I'm saying. But, like, at some no point, value. would you experiment during down the road? No, you wouldn't. Because no. it would just make it soggy. It would it would create all of the bad parts about eating cereal with milk with none of the value. <laughs> okay, so you're going to love my next question, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and, and I do have to say, I do have to say, like, 
you know, I do think that that does change up the type of cereal that you eat if you know that you have to drink it, sure. uh, that you have to eat it dry forever, right? But, uh, but no, I don't think that you ever all of a sudden jump in and are like, let's just add some water to this. Yeah, I think you have a glass of water and you take sips in between like bites and shit because obviously it's going to get super dry after like gobbling that shit down. Uh, I think this is pretty easy. Um, actually, you know, either one is actually fine to me, right? I could drink anything in the world. It's my own pee. It's not a big deal. See, if it was someone else's pee, I'd probably be kind of disturbed. I'd be like, who the hell peed in this shit? Uh, <laughs> and me, I, I believe in myself. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> if, if I only did water, uh, dude, I'd be healthy as fuck, right? Like, we're not, we're not drinking beer. We're not getting beer bellies. We're not getting, like, you know, drinking too much. You know, I think coffee is the only thing I would super duper miss, right? That's the only other thing. Coffee is a tough one. Um, yeah. yeah. See, you missed that shit, Sean. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, and and like you said, the only use for milk for me is either in my coffee or for cereal. But I don't mind missing that. You know, I can drink a lot of things. I think water is the way I to go. I think you could make sure. an argument that I think, like, based on the question, right? You could probably make an argument you're allowed to eat cereal with milk, but you're not allowed to drink the milk after. I think no, you could make that argument. Let's, let's, let's get rid of everything, dude. It's Just get rid water. of any liquid, it's either, not water. It's either water or or you piss in your cereal. And actually, they get pee at your annual annual uh, physical exam. You know, you, you pee in yeah. the little container because it's just a drop, right? Yeah, yeah it's just a drop. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you go with, the Dev? Uh, I definitely would go with the pee. Like, and this is as someone who like mostly only drinks water. But, like, I don't want to give up the ability to drink other things, right? I'm, like, too selfish, right? I think I would still mostly only drink water if this happened, but I'm, I'm definitely not giving up everything. Like, <laughs> but but here's here's the question, though, is that if you pick the pee option, does that mean that when yeah, you drink the, the water, water it's would, still... The water would have a, a little fleck of pee in it. I, th I think that's that's fair. <laughs> like, like, what I'm saying is it wouldn't affect my drinking habits. Like, I, I think I'm okay... Knowing it, like, first of all, like, from what I understand, it's, like, relatively not that unhealthy to drink your own urine, from what I understand. Like, uh, people told me this, right? Like, if you're on a desert island, it's okay, right? I mean, I mean, Bear Grylls that's, did it, right? It yeah. Bear, he ate that snake and, like, drank it up, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I think, it's, I think it's probably fine. I think it's probably fine. Fine, TM. We'll no, see. No. Maybe I'll just die, right? And then, yeah. and then I, will, I will have chosen the wrong answer. I, I do have to say, though... Well, like you mentioned Chick-fil-A lemonade. The thing that I absolutely would not be able to feel comfortable drinking would be lemonade if it had pee in it, right? Because you would just not even remotely feel like you know what's going on in there. I, I think I think at a certain point you would just get over it, right? Like you would just be like, This is my life now. It's <laughs> I, I think I think the biggest issue is if all your friends took the uh drink you know, drinking the pee one, you'd be really lame at parties. You wouldn't not yeah, be invited. Say, oh, like, oh, tonight, tonight we're getting lit. You'd be like, yeah, dude, I just drink water. That's that's all I could drink. That's how I am at many wait, parties wait, in the first place. Jello shots, though, if you if you took <laughs> this option, I think you could have jello shots, right? That's not that's yeah, not with drink. Water instead of liquor in there. You're just having like <laughs> liquid gummy bears, to be honest. Uh, yeah, but it's cooked in. It's cooked it's in. Cooked I don't know. In. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we got rid of all the liquid, right? So I don't know. Is there any way to make alcohol not in liquid form? Is the question. <laughs> like. Oh, they do have uh, alcohol like pops, right? Those ice cream yeah. pops. No, I don't know, maybe. All right, I think we've talked about this one enough. Uh, I've got a good one here. So you can never eat pizza again, or you can never eat ice cream again. Which one are you choosing? And I, I feel like, for me at least, I, I really enjoy both. So it's a difficult decision. So we'll start with Ryan. What do you think? Is, is Ryan and I, I enjoy neither kind of person? I, I mean, we did have an ice cream episode, right? So, I mean, I think we all like that. Yeah, we picked We're vanilla, sure. so, like, did he really <laughs> pick any ice cream? He wanted <laughs> frozen fruits. Yeah, he wanted to pick Froyo. <laughs> I think for me, I think if I choose one, I'll, I'll be giving up ice cream. I don't eat it very often, and I can easily substitute it with Froyo or Greek yogurt. No, so, no, no. So, well, I, we're taking away, I, I we're think taking that away Froyo, Froyo right. we're taking away gelato, like all that sweet okay, ice cream. Okay, I can just substitute with Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is my life. Greek, Greek yogurt would definitely be allowed. Comparatively to how much I eat pizza, which I don't, I eat it a little more than ice cream, and I feel like it's, it's something I would probably prefer over ice cream, so I would just choose pizza. Interesting. Wow, well, apparently, apparently Skype was so upset with your opinion, it kicked you off the video. 
Uh, he he's still on video for me. Yeah, I can still see you, Ryan. Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. It, uh, Ashish and Ryan just went away on my video. Interesting. Damn. All right, well. <laughs> it's you know, true. Only we had a Microsoft employee on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Dev, what do you think? Oh, uh, this is an easy one for me. Ice cream's gone. <laughs> like, like, pizza has no, like, so, so like you said, right, there are substitutes to ice cream, and we're taking those out, right? No gelato, no frozen yogurt. However, like, and, and this is, this is going to make Ryan proud, right? I've, I've recently, like, stopped buying pints of ice cream and just started buying bags of frozen fruit and just eating frozen fruit as my dessert instead. And it's been, like, fine. I like frozen fruit. It tastes great. So, like, I'm kind of with Ryan here. Like, I think you can get away. There's a lot of other desserts. There's chocolates and stuff. There's nothing quite like pizza. And and I, I don't want to give up pizza. I, I don't know, though. I mean, I mean, if we're willing to replace ice cream with frozen fruit, I mean, you know, I'm sure you could have, like, a plain tortilla and say it's pizza, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, you guys have the weird ass substitutes for ice cream, right? You should have gone no, with like, like chocolate like or something. Ice cream. I, I mean, I mean, we got like nice, sweet ice cream, and and Ryan's out here like, oh, I'm gonna have Greek yogurt. What? <laughs> like what? I mean, yeah, that's okay. It tastes fine. It's not. It's not a substitute for ice cream. And you like, you even took it worse. You're like, hey, I'm gonna take out the yogurt and just have the fruit part of it. I, I could just I eat a rice goal, cake instead of, of pizza. Ice, <laughs> the goal of ice cream to me is to have something sweet after my actual meal, right? Yeah. Like. Ice cream is a dessert to me, and I just like I like having a sweet taste in my mouth. I'm a sweet tooth at heart, and I think that there are many things that can like fill that niche. However, like the part of me that devours pizza like weekly, uh, that that niche is not getting filled by anything else. <laughs> and so I gotta keep I gotta keep the pizza lover in me alive. Fair enough. Fair enough. What about you, Sean? I, I think that for me, it's it's easily that I'm taking out pizza because. To me, there are way more and way more quality options for just meals than there are for desserts. Like, I think that the dessert category is much smaller than than the meal category is. Because, like, I mean, with pizza, for example, like, you don't have to replace pizza, per se. You know, you just have to not eat it. And and that still gives you the option to eat really anything else. Whereas with ice cream, like you said, we're, we're trying to find a replacement for something that's cold and something that's sweet that you eat for dessert. And like, you know, frozen fruit ain't cutting it for me, you know? And, <laughs> and, and for me, ice cream is actually probably one of my favorite desserts overall. And so, you know, for me, uh, I, I just feel like, again, if I were to cut pizza, like, don't get me wrong, it would suck. But like, ultimately what it is, is it's just, you know, a giant piece of carbs it's not that filling a lot of the time too so like it's probably better for me if i don't eat pizza as much as i do and and so being able to cut that replace it just meal wise with whatever else and and keep ice cream as something to just have every once in a while i think that's an easy decision for me wow all right well i thought we were gonna go like sweeping with ice cream but no that actually makes so much sense to be honest like oh wow well, shahan of... convinced the sheet no 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 <laughs> get, let's get the shit straight uh he had a good point saying like you would eat healthier too or like find a different substitute for pizza and if i did that and i only drink water i mean i'm on my way to ryan right like <laughs> i'm on my way i'm on my way to <laughs> yeah you'll just be uh, having rice cakes with cheese on you <laughs> <laughs> yeah well again like for me i just i just think that if I were to lose ice cream, I'd be searching for a while and being like, trying to talk myself into popsicles being good for and, and shit like that. Especially during the summer, right? Like, like that's the dessert during the summer. Whereas, you know, with pizza, it's like if pizza goes away, all right, I'll just eat pasta or I'll eat salads or you know, like. There's a million different directions where I could just eat something else. I'm not trying to replace a specific role that that ice cream plays in my in my life. Right, that makes sense. Well, with that said, I'm definitely going, see ya, ice cream. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just because I eat it way less, uh, I would definitely miss that shit, you know. Uh, but I definitely do eat pizza way more often, right? And trying to replace that uh, would definitely be more difficult. And when I go to, like, you know, Stars or Mavs games and shit, I always get a pizza, right? Like, that's, that's the best thing they have there to me, in my opinion. It is. So, like, not having that, like, I would have struggled to, like, look at all these other shits and be like, oh, what am I going to eat? Man, pizza is so damn good, I have to keep it. So, see ya, ice cream. Though, though, to be fair, 
pizza being the best thing in Mavs games speaks more to like how poor the options are in Mavs games <laughs> than it does like how good the pizza is, right? I, no, no, like, no, dude, dude, dude. It, it actually is pretty good though. Like if you look at the pizza, it's, pizza, it, it's actually really good. Like the way they make it. But you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not endorsing anyone over here, so it's whatever. Personal uh, pan I agree. I agree though. The way it's those personal pan pizzas. I think it's is a Pizza Hut. The yeah, one in the Mavs. Yeah, I thought they had it's Pizza Patron. They used to have Pizza Patron. Uh, I think okay. they might have it at the 300 levels, but the the ones that we well, usually go to. That's, yeah, we all, that's I the only place pizza. I get to sit, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, well, well I, I just have to say, too, that I think it is a very bad argument that you can spend $12 for a, pizza, a bad pizza at a Mavs game, and that's why you're keeping it. <laughs> no, I just said that's additional reason, dude. All right, I, I ain't got this bullshit from this ice cream lover out here. Uh, no, I'm just saying I eat it so much more often, yeah. and another reason is, like, I do eat it at those games, so you know, I, I, I'm fine I what with you're saying. Like, pizza. for me, like one of my favorite parts of like going to the Mavs games is getting that pizza at halftime, right? Right, sitting right. there eating the pizza through the third quarter, like it's awesome. So, so what you gonna put though in the in the Rangers helmet when you're sitting outside at the at the game? I mean, uh, you you gonna put like some spaghetti in there? Like I don't, uh, <laughs> you can't replace the uh, the the Rangers helmet. I, uh, I, I never game. get the Rangers helmet. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. You, you I get never some cookies to... and cream in there. I've had I had them actually. I, I could have brought a prop here. We were gonna talk about it, but yeah, no, you know, it's okay. You know, no ice cream for me, and uh, I'll save nine bucks. So, <laughs> with that said, Jahan, you're. Uh, your question what do you got for us well well my question that i brought is probably a little bit of a similar track but um if you had to give up uh one would you give up foods that have added salt or foods that have added sugar oh yeah i had this i had this question as well i had this one too yeah this is a it's a tough question right because <laughs> like like added sugar things are just so incredible right but, like, salt is fully necessary, I think, to, like, creating a good food product, right? Like, if you don't have any salt in there, it is terrible. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to have to go with salt for that reason. And and it sucks, right? But, like, salt is, like, like not saying salt is healthy, but it's way healthier than sugar, right? Like, it's not even close. So, my life's going to be way healthier by, doing, by taking the salt option and giving up the added sugar option. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like Ryan, just eating fruit all day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Kashi. Uh, fruit and Kashi, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Although, I assume Kashi has some sort of artificial sweetener, no? I think there's a reason no people eat it, is because it doesn't have sugar added to it. <laughs> okay, that, that would make sense. Uh, I'll go look at my box, I'll tell you after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at your collection of boxes and let us know. Um yeah, I think I'm right there with you, Dev. Just because when you're eating dinner or lunch or some shit and it's like lacking salt, you're like, this shit's kind of disgusting, right? Like, <laughs> add, some, add some salt up in this bow. Um, yeah, dude, I think without the added sugar too, you're probably being living a healthier life as well, right? And uh, I think I think that's a really easy option, to be honest. Or you could just like neglect both and just have a healthy life and, you know, have a six pack or something. But yeah, right. I think- uh, Salt is like actually necessary though, right? No, but like, salt, is good. salt is good in limitation, right? But if you have too yeah. much salt, then you're talking about like high blood pressure and shit like that, right? Uh, but, you know, yeah, I think uh, I'll go with the taking the salt and uh, see you, sugar. <laughs> For me, if I had to choose between salt, keeping salt or keeping sugar, I would keep sugar. And it's for this Whoa. reason. My diet doesn't Whoa. consist of much salt at all, if any. And I like to use different spices, garlic powder, onion powder, curry right. powder, Don't cumin. Salt and use those spices to make a good flavor profile in my food. And so for that reason, I don't use salt at all. <laughs> Yeah, so, I, I think that the sodium that's in other spices would be allowed. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then also... I changed my answer. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like also other additives to food, like cheeses or other things, have an innate salt in them. Mm -hmm. And so for me, if I want a sweet thing, I want real sugar because I don't like fake sugar and, and obviously fruit with its natural sugars. So for me, I'd rather keep the sugar from my somewhat frequent sugar cravings. <laughs> yeah, like yeah you, you would be giving up ice cream, right, with the, with the one yeah. option? So. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, because that's the thing is like sugar, you'd be giving up every type of sweet other than fruits, whereas with salt, like it would affect the flavor of what you're eating, but it wouldn't fundamentally erase the existence of what you're eating. So so for me, like, like, let's put it this way, right? If I'm making a cake and I choose not to put sugar in it, 
it's going to be a whole lot worse than if I'm making, you know, if I'm grilling chicken and don't put salt on it, right? Oh, like I disagree. Give me the think... give me the sugarless cake. Like, what? <laughs> over saltless chicken. Saltless chicken is <laughs> terrible, bread? bro. Bread? I hate it so much. Versus like... versus sugarless cake? Yeah, That's bro. disgusting, Dev. Give point? me the sugarless cake. You're literally cake. doing something for no reason, man. Yeah, give me the sugarless <laughs> cake. You might as well just get a rice cake. Yeah, well, I'll be eating rice cakes and fruit out here. Wait, wait, wait. so you're switching sides now, Dev. Is, it, is this correct? No, I'm staying on my side. I'm saying I want the salt. Oh, okay, okay. Just make sure. Because when Ryan's making his points, you're like, oh, no. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, so for me, like, I think that there's other alternatives that aren't per se salt that, that you can do. There's still flavor food. And I think that there's still a lot of ways that you can cook savory food that doesn't necessarily have to be too salt heavy. Whereas again, you cannot do sweet food without sugar, like without quite a bit of added sugar. It's, it's impossible. Like, so basically you're saying that you're throwing out every single sweet option other than like eating a fucking apple. And, and that's, whereas that's let's fucking go. Let's I'm going to be healthy as hell. Let's go. All right, but we're not asking about what the healthiest thing is. <laughs> no, but that's, like, that's like a benefit of it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm using I mean, this to I mean, transform my life. I mean, yeah, if you're <laughs> cooking a lot of, like, Indian dishes, those subsies, do you know how much salt you have to put in that shit? Without that salt, it's going to taste nasty. And at that point, I'm not eating anything, and then I'm just going to be eating, like, a tub of ice cream because I'm like, oh, I got all the added sugar up in Oh, I mean, like, I need some salt so for some more. What, what fundamentally all of these options sound like is none of you guys have faith in your ability to self control your diet. <laughs> That's yes. what all of this yes. sounds like. Wait, that is a fact. Except for Ryan, except for Ryan, obviously. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but Deb no, Mishish sound no. like they are, they feel very. They, they have you feel seen like me, Mishish? It's yeah. very obvious we don't have the ability to self control I mean, our diet. Yeah, right? so, so like, this is like, this is the ideal thing. Like, uh, only drinking water, no more sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds great. <laughs> I can tell you exactly how this would go if, if you were to have actually picked this. You'd do the shit where you're like, uh, you know, where you'd get like watermelon and shit and be like, well, shit, I can have salt. So I guess I'll put some salt on it to well, bring out the flavor. Exact, that's exactly, exactly the fucking point. Wait, you can't do this. You, you watermelon know. is amazing. Yeah, dude. Like yeah, like so my point is that you eat so much salt that you'd actually give yourself heart disease just because you'd want to make a point about not eating oh, sugar. Okay, well, well, with all your added sugar, you got super fat, got obesity, and died anyways, right? Like your toes are like going off, getting cut off. So I mean, either way, we're losing, right? Someone, well, someone's gonna get fucked up either way. But uh, the point is, I definitely have more salt in like my entrees, right, for lunch or dinner, and like on baked potatoes and watermelon. I think that's the way to go. And I think it's pretty simple for me. You can always right, put move on to the next one. one. Or do we have any more thoughts? Yeah, I, I think we're good. Ryan, what do you got for us? So Shahan took my question. So my secondary question, which is not as good as Shahan's primary question, is this. Would you rather only eat food that is hot or only eat food that is cold? Mm. <clears throat> Damn. This is a tough question, right? There's a lot of hot foods. There's a lot of cold foods. Uh, so, so for me, the only argument against eating mostly hot food, like, especially if we're talking about entrees, right? Like there are exceptions where that are more like sort of desserts and stuff like that, that are, that are better cold. But like, and the only consideration that, that makes this tougher for me is that obviously we live in Texas and it's hot outside, but otherwise almost every type of food, uh, in terms of entrees is better warm in my opinion. Yeah. Because it's cooked. Like, like if you're eating something cold, like, you, if you're making a cold sandwich, for example, like, it's just there. Whereas, like, with a hot a hot sandwich is so much better than a, than a cold sandwich because it's cooked and it's processed. Yeah, but the, the, the problem is, like, would I rather eat my pizza cold every day just so I can get ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Yes, oh, dude, that is exactly the right thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm definitely on the hot food train as well. Like, oh, uh, I, I, I guess my frozen fruits would be gone. <laughs> so I'll, I guess I'll have to heat them up in the microwave and eat, eat warm fruit. <laughs> but I think there's warm desserts as well, right? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like cakes. Where, yeah, so I think that I would definitely go with the, with the warm, warm foods only over the cold. Yeah, uh, I think, yeah, that's definitely pretty easy just because your main entrees are always going to be hot. Like, what would I eat that's cold, right? Like cereal? Okay, well, see ya, cereal. Uh, I mean, 
uh, I think, yeah, the main thing is the desserts, right? But then you got, like, halva and, like, gajra halva and, like, all these hot desserts. So I think it's easy just to go the hot way, especially if we're talking about, like, cold cuts and stuff. I, I prefer having, like, cheese on there. I want it melted, right? I can't have that shit. So I, if I went with the cold side, right? If I yeah. went with cold cuts, then, you know, I'm going to Subway. I'm just having, like, a plain-ass sandwich. I need I need it toasted, all right? So yeah. that's it. <laughs> I need that shit toasted. So with that said, uh, we're gonna go with the hot entrees for sure. Right. Or the clarification hot- question though. What's up? Does this extend to your drinks as well? Because I don't know no. if I could get away with drinking warm water for the rest no, of my no, life. No, 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 it doesn't. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> then I'm definitely on the warm. <laughs> I'm definitely on the warm side then. Yeah. But if if you had to warm up my water, I might think. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would agree with everybody here. I would go with a uh, hot food. I'd just be giving up Greek yogurt, but other than that, everything just tastes a little bit warmer. It seems there's more love put in the production of the food. So I'd rather eat warmer hot foods. Gotcha. So, so what I learned today is that Ryan scientifically has proven that heat is the same thing as love, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. That warm embrace, the same as hot food. <laughs> Yeah, cold people. embrace, not so fun. Not yeah. so great. <laughs> cold embrace, no love. People often call the microwave the, the machine of love. As people yeah. The cold war, not great. The the warm war, like, that that could be nice. That could be gentle. Uh, wow. You guys got anything else? Uh, no, that, that's, that's just that's war. That's our first full sweep, though. What's up? Oh, that is the first, first full sweep. sweep. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that was good or super bad. That's bad. <laughs> I got it. Going back to the drawing board, Ryan. <laughs> right. No, I'm just glad we all agree on one thing, then. That's that's very nice. Uh, all right, I do have one crazy one I want to throw out there real quick. Uh, would you rather have all your taste buds on your chin, or would you rather have your food yell at you, but only you can hear it? Can you like, elaborate just on it before chin, I, I eat it, or like as I'm eating oh, it? As you're eating it, before you're eating it, it's like, oh, fuck you, dude, don't eat me. And then you're like, take a bite of it, it's like, oh, fuck oh. you, dude, go to hell. <laughs> Every single time you eat, it, or this, you have to like grab whatever you're eating and just like shove it on your chin and just this, like rub it is, in. This is very That's easy weird. to me. Uh, I think that you clearly go with the taste buds on your chin and you just get over the fact that you can't taste food and just eat it with your mouth. Like nah, I don't know, cheating all over the place, dude. No, I'm man, I don't care. Over, I don't care food. that much. It would it would honestly be a benefit if I couldn't taste food because then I'd only eat healthy stuff. Who cares? <laughs> I, I think for me, I'm taking the chin option, but like, this is like actually amazing, right? I can now like, I don't have to wonder what things taste like. Like licking something is like dangerous, right? But putting my chin on there is like way less dangerous, right? <laughs> I can just stick my chin on things. Like I can figure out what a bunch of things taste like. This seems like awesome to me. I wanna like. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I mean, that's just a weird point. Um, but you do you, buddy. <laughs> I'm taking the I'm taking the chin option, and I'm gonna taste I'm gonna taste the world, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, what about you, Ryan? I'll take the latter option of the taste buds yelling at you, or the no, food. No, the, the food. The food is yelling. Yeah, the yeah. food yelling at you because I want to hear what the food thinks while we're eating it, what their feelings are, how they represent themselves, and so then if I. Tired of it, I can just wear noise canceling headphones. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just yeah. always have noise canceling headphones on every time you eat. <laughs> yeah, he's got some Bose endorsements going on. Just we'll talk after damn. dinner. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think that's the way to go, dude. Honestly, if we can use, uh, you know, something to cover it up. Honestly, if you're eating by yourself too, you have a little conversation. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> you don't have to feel so lonely. Beer. Does the extent of the beard affect the magnitude of the taste buds on your chin? Yeah, they'd have uh, to shave off their chin. I, I assume you right would there. have to be like clean shaved <laughs> yeah. with this. Yeah, so, I mean, so you, you're you you're gonna shave your... your taste buds? Oh, yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know how it works. Yeah. Well, Ryan, Ryan, with this like next level question out here, we don't know. Maybe, about that. maybe like choosing this option makes you baby faced. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Automatically. Does that does that affect the answer? Yeah, Ashish, <laughs> would you be able to taste your beard? How does this work? Ooh. No, no, that's that's not a thing. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Thing. Anyways, I'm not even going with that option, so that's not even a worry for me. I'm going to be looking looking nice and clean, not shoving shit in my chin, and <laughs> looking fresh and not having to change all the time. That was a great question. Yeah, it's just random, right? Like I thought about like something wild, right? Because I had a lot of food, food like this or that, but I was like, this shit, this is next level. Um, all right, well, I think. I think we we can uh, we'll do this next time. We'll have another food one some other time later. But that wraps up another great episode of the Shish and Friends podcast. Cue the outro.
Mm-hmm.